What's up guys, this is gonna be a quick one. These are my Premiere Pro shortcuts. I got five. That will change your life. I never was into shortcuts, but then I learned why people use them. And then I made my own custom shortcuts because it just was faster. All right, so the first one is enable. The easiest way to do this, you go to edit keyboard shortcuts. There's a little window with a magnifying glass on the bottom left. Just type in enable. There might be something there, L delete it. And I made mine E, okay? So literally enable the button E. And what that does, you can on off a track, you know? Two seconds. Otherwise, you gotta right click. You gotta look for enable. Where is it? Where is it? There it is. Enable. It's t it's terrible. It takes so much longer. If you can eliminate seconds, you are saving so much time over time. If that makes sense. If I'm doing a music video, I have files stacked on top of each other, and I'm trying to decide, oh, is this shot better for this moment, or is this shot better for this moment? Not even two seconds. Literally, half a second. Maybe even a millisecond. Enable. You have to do that. Next one. Close gap. This one, you have like clips spread out all over the place and you're like, oh, I want them all squished together. Well, I made close gap the letter D. I just did that because it's right next to enable. Everything's like in close proximity. So you just highlight everything, you press D, and then it all squishes together. It's beautiful. Otherwise, you gotta click in the empty spaces, hit delete. It's too much time. I don't have time for that. Highlight it all, hit D, done, boom, next. Okay, next, add, edit. This is the most crucial shortcut that I'm surprised more people don't use. I think I was just annoyed with like hitting C and then clicking. If I had to cut something, you gotta hit C and then you click. If you have three files stacked on top of each other and then three audio files stacked on top of each other, you gotta hit C and then you gotta click, 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 click. Or you could do shift click and it'll like cut the whole thing. But I found a way faster way. You can highlight the track and then wherever the blue timeline is, you just press one button. I made that button X because it's all in the placement. The more steps that you eliminate, the faster you can get something done. I promise you. Once I started implementing this, I was, fl I was flying through edits. Okay, the other one is the slip tool. This is actually in that little sidebar next to the timeline where there's the selection tool, razor tool, and all that other stuff. It's in there. I made the slip tool the letter G. So G basically keeps the same length of a clip you like the cut but you don't like what's in the shot so I hit G and then you click and you drag you can drag to the left and drag to the right and it'll move the video forwards or backwards but it'll keep the same length it's awesome I really really like that one last but not least this is a bonus one this isn't even a, a shortcut just so you're aware the letter S is the magnet you know like the snapping in the timeline how the video will snap in place yeah, sometimes you'll just hit S. You might do control S to save, and maybe you didn't hit control hard enough, so then you hit S, and then you've turned off the magnet, and then you're moving everything around, and you're like, why is it not snapping in the grid anymore? I don't understand. So there you go. I hope I saved you so much time and frustration. Let's review. We got enable. You got the enable. I made it the letter E. You're eliminating steps. It's incredible. Then we got close gap. I made that the letter D. It's right below E. You highlight it all real quick. You can also do control A and it'll highlight everything and then hit D. Boom. Everything is just moved immediately together. Incredible. Add edit. I made that the letter X. It's below D. Add edit is just literally eliminating you from pressing C and then the click. Like, it drives me crazy. It's like, boom, boom. It's like, no, just make it one thing. It's a, it's a waste of time. And you'll realize that and you'll be like, holy cow, this is insane. I should have done this years ago. Well, now you're going to do it. And you're going to thank me, I hope. We got the slip tool, which I made the letter G. That's where you can, like, keep the length of the clip, but you're moving the actual, like, content inside of it left to right. So you, the video is too early in this, so then you would drag it to one side. Or, oh, it's too late. Boom. Or, like, I want a whole other section that's, like, way earlier. Then you just keep dragging and dragging and dragging. It's cool, it's really cool. And then as I said, S, that was the bonus one. That's the magnet, you just need to know that. Cause you're gonna be like, why is everything not snapping to the grid anymore? And it's because it's not connected to the magnet. Now you know. And these are my five with a bonus Premiere Pro shortcuts. Let me know what you think. Make them whatever you want. If you don't wanna do the letters I did, that doesn't matter. I just think you should implement them because you will become a better, faster, more efficient editor. You're gonna get your projects done. I mean, it just, it just that there's a reason why shortcuts are shortcuts. Like there's a reason why people use shortcuts in games. You should use them in your editing. I promise you. 
I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please like, subscribe, comment. If there's other shortcuts that I'm not aware of that you think I should mention or talk about or look into, please let me know because I will look into it. I am all about speeding up the process and making everything as quick and efficient as possible. Time is money. You're trying to get these videos done for your clients. So why waste time fiddling around with multiple keys when you can eliminate them to one?